welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to establish a morning routine and stick to it. If you want to see more how-to videos specifically surviving a summer in DC, please subscribe, like, and comment on my videos and hope to see you every Sunday at 11 a.m. EST. Tip number one, have a task ready to do right when you wake up. The most common thing that I have found for people who are trying to wake up but they can't is because when they wake up earlier than they normally do, they're naturally more tired and then they just go back to sleep. But in order to avoid this pitfall, what you want to do is make sure that you have a task ready to do. So during final season, that was studying for me. So I knew that I wanted to study this specific part of this specific subject. So when I woke up, I was like, I have to do this. Let me get out of my bed to start getting towards that task. And during the summer, it's become a different task because I don't have classes, like starting the day with working out or making a specific breakfast item that I really wanted to try. Having a very accomplishable, if that's a word, task in mind is the first step to getting that routine established and down. Because that way when you wake up, you're waking up with more purpose than just the general, sometimes abstract purpose of wanting to wake up earlier to be healthier. Tip number two find the right vibe for your room. So everyone has different decoration styles, stylistic choices, but everybody has a right vibe that they want their room to have. So for me, that comes out to three specific items. First is my Amazon Echo Dot that was given to me as a gift. Second is my essential oils diffuser to enhance the smell of the room. And finally, it's my tapestry lights pictures combo that I have on my wall. And these three items allow me to kind of have a more homey feel to the room. And when I wake up, the first three things I do is turn on the lights of uh, my tapestry, start playing music, and then I start my essential oils diffuser. So if you set the right tone or atmosphere for your room, you're gonna naturally want to wake up in a space that you feel comfortable in, right? And if you start triggering some of your senses, such as music, so hearing, or your sense of smell from the essential oils diffuser, then ultimately you are already awakening your senses and then overall your body. And obviously, each of these items or more or less cost money, but there are definitely affordable decorations tailored to your interests. So making sure that you're both buying as much as you're comfortable with, but buying items that you really feel like can add value to this process of waking up earlier. So as I listed mine, those are just for me, but just find the ones that work for you and then making sure every day you're using them to kind of stimulate your senses um, to help wake you up. Tip number three, have an accountability partner. So I have heard having an accountability partner for things like studying and working out daily or regularly have been semi-successful. So I think that the success rate of having an accountability partner for waking up early can also have pretty high yields of success. So in order to make this a successful partnership though, you wanna make sure that both you and the other person are very clear on the expectations, making sure that you guys have something in place if one of you slips up because even though that might seem rigid or strict, that's the only way having an accountability partner is going to work in the long term. But having someone you can just text when you wake up at your designated time saying, hey, I'm awake, and then having them text back at their designated time. Just making sure that you, you don't feel you're in it alone. And that way, if you are someone who responds better to somebody holding you accountable like that, then definitely go for it. Tip number four, have something in the morning to look forward to. So this is different from the task that I mentioned in tip number one, because a task is something you have to do whether you like it or not. But a favorite thing is something that you get to do in the morning. So for me, that is brewing a cup of coffee or going to get a cup of matcha. And that's something that really brightens the start of my day. So especially on the harder days it is to wake up, having one specific thing you really like to do, whether it's a specific song you like to listen to, a specific person you like to see, those are all ways where you can make the morning better because you are actively pursuing something that you like. So that would be the final tip because by pursuing that and adding a bit of, I guess, happiness to the start of your morning, you're ultimately programming yourself and your body to want to wake up earlier because you have that favorite thing that you can get to every morning. 
That's all for this video. Thank you everyone so much for watching. As I mentioned before, I post every Sunday, 11 a.m. EST, and I will see you for the next video on how to continue surviving a winding down summer in DC. Bye.